Brodies, what do you do, man? We are back with another tier list now. Yes, I know I'm doing a lot of tier list videos and things of that nature. But to be honest, man, I feel like it helps you guys out a lot. And essentially, it just breaks down which cards to do, which cards to skip, etc, etc, in terms of the meta. So let's get into it. Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? Perfect. New card. What do you think? Whoa. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. Hit the like, subscribe. Tell me who's your favorite card right now in the game. Obviously, Ultimate Tot is nearly here, bro. So, we need the best of the best cards, bro. Even if they are cheap, I'm still going to state it. Do you know what I mean? We have the best of the best of the SPCs. Basically, every possible SPC um, right now that's currently available. By the time I am recording this, it is a Thursday afternoon. Let's get into it, man. We've got the very first one being Marquez. By the way, check out MOXP for the best, cheapest coins. As well as check out the shirt sponsor. Second link in the description. Use the code MIKE4. A cheeky 12% of, you know, some very, very nice shirts there, bro. Euros is coming up as well. Who do you boys have in the Euros as well? I'm probably going to say the same old, same old France is probably going to go to the finals. Let's just be completely honest with ourselves. But uh, yeah, maybe a cheeky... You know, uh, underdog team, I don't know, bro. Who do you guys think will be there? I don't know, bro. But yeah, Rafael Marquez, though, if we actually jump over to the actual reason why you clicked on this video, it is four-star weak-footed CDM slash center back Marquez. Now, what I like about Marquez, right, is he actually has a big frame in game, um, even though he's six foot. Do you know what I mean? Uh, these type of center backs, I feel like in game are just really, really potent, very irritating to verse because they're just on your, your footing the whole time, bro. Especially if you're an attacker and you're trying to use your nimble players and he's just there, bro. He doesn't even feel like six foot um, and he has the anticipate as well, which is very nice when it comes to center backs. I'm gonna be honest though, I feel like with the new inclusions of Team of the Season and stuff, I'm going to be straight up as unbiased, as objective as possible, but as well as, you know, very strict. I don't want to be too lenient because S and S+, plus, bro, are top of the line, literally. Like, S+, plus is top of the line in terms of creme de la creme, cream of the crop, I like to say, because, yeah, you need the best of the best, bro. Like, if we are speaking about best of the best, though... I think we, we can all agree check is S+. Plus. Now, I know a lot of people will be like, ah, you know, he makes a lot of mistakes, but that's for you, bro. Essentially speaking, you need the best goalkeeper, and I feel like check ticks all the boxes. He makes the least amount of mistakes. I don't know about you boys, but yeah, I love my check right there, man, in-game. He's very, very nice. Add a glove on him. Uh, I feel like chem styles for goalkeepers don't really matter that much, but a glove for me works, so try it out. Uh, if check isn't playing or performing well for you but yeah let's jump over to the bino gittens now this type of card ea really go ham with these new like showdown cards while team of the season is out uh, i feel like they're very good value as well always uh, and they just have insane stats but sometimes they don't always play to the stats uh, but i do feel like this bino gittens which i haven't really versed or used i'll be completely honest bro uh, i'm just basing him according to stats and a lot of people that do do tier lists man said do do now nah, i'm so i'm so dumb the people that do do tier lists though uh, i feel like none of them use all the cards do you know what i mean but i feel like bino gittens is gonna be an s tier list card if you look at his stats five star skills that's already ticked ticked off the box for a uh, winger he's got obviously five for ten so he's not gonna be the shortest but he will have some sort of physicality to shrug players off the ball and he's got at least average and lean so the lean body type helps a little bit if he just had unique maybe he could excel the card a little bit more maybe the five star weak foot as well to be like top of the line of s but i'm gonna place him at the end of s plus i uh, sorry the end of s right now um i do still think he is ticking all the boxes for a winger bro and he has somewhat decent defensive awareness for a winger so if you're playing on comeback on defense for uh your wingers in like a 4 2 3 one he's not gonna be terrible bro also base play style of technical it's not looking too bad bro rapid as well uh he's got the finesse shot plus so maybe if you're playing him lamb um also he's with the long shots is okay maybe add a hunter to boost that and then you can bang in some finesse shots outside the box like a young Ming son type of player he's okay bro nothing crazy though we got arcelu which is a one that a lot of people are speaking about recently bro and a lot of people said is it him or um, Soloth? Who would you choose? Uh, to be honest, I'm going to choose my main man Soloth because that man got me to Div 1 nearly at Elite Division right there. He's insane, by the way. Uh, the way he shrugs players off the ball is very cheese-like. Do you know what I mean? Like, he just runs past players and you cannot get past him because he either he gets the ball back, right? Uh, like, the tackle tax is crazy against him, bro. 
um every time he um loses the ball he gets it back instantly because i just know i just i feel like his frame is insane but we're not speaking about uh, so a lot we're speaking about hoselu though so i would say hoselu is very similar uh actually very similar heighted as well tall and lean so you could argue that this card is better than Soloth, but I just feel like Soloth has that cheese in game, bro. Uh, yeah, that R9 and those type of players have. But I do think both of them are still sufficing and they are still insane. And I would say S plus, maybe end of S plus, I don't really want to place a tall player. Like, creme de la creme means pro players are using them. They, they, they're banging them in their teams. Wait, that sounds... Bro, what am I saying? They basically, they basically uh, have them in their teams, etc, etc. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's cream of the crop. So, for now, I'm going to place both of um, of the, the, the lot at top of S for now. I just feel like, would you argue maybe they go to end of S+, plus, especially at this stage of the game? Because they are insane. We will do it, bro. We'll do it. We'll slap them at the end of S plus right there. We got the likes of R9 as well. I think now a lot of people is going to argue, right? These type of videos is very difficult to make because a lot of people have different opinions, bro. But you have to look at it from an objective rating. And I feel like R9, yes, he only has one playstyle plus in June, bro. Uh, but I do think this card in-game, icons have in-game hidden stats animations that I like to always say uh, that just propel the card to just be insane to be s plus like r9 in game if you verse him nine times out of ten this card is going to be irritating against you if the guy is good do you know what i mean if he knows how to skill if he knows how to dribble etc so if you add an engine on r9 the matter of the fact is or well, fact of the matter is uh i cannot speak today fact of the matter is r9 is going to be a s plus player bro anybody can agree with that that is half decent at the game but yeah let's look to the next one that's going to be lookman now what i like about these type of new cards I'm going to straight up say the S+, plus, bro. These type of cards are just really good. I mean, we're looking at 5-star, five 5-star. Five amazing agility and balance already. These cards look like Fatty's cards, bro. Technical plus with all that stats. Still with power shots for a striker. It only, it's only right. So, it's only right if I'm placing Soloth and Hosulu, two big-bodied players. Um, very tall. You know, that's the meta of the game now with strikers. You're playing them in a 4-2-3-1. At striker, uh, with the aerial or power header plus and essentially it's so so op because it works on corners it works every time you have a whip pass uh, right back or left back you know it works the whole time even if you're hitting the ball down to your um teammate in the box or if you're just going for the header you know it just works physically in terms of like aerial threat abilities and these two strikers are really really good at that so from that reasoning especially in this meta now it makes sense to place them at S+. Plus. So, yeah, you're going to see, bro. Trust me, play this weekend league and verse these two cards. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say, man. Insane cards. But, yeah, we got Beckham. I do like Beckham, right? I'm going to place him at the end of A+, plus, though. I feel like Beckham, uh, in-game, he performs better than what his stats say. His stats look absolutely mud, especially this... Um, in this economy of the game uh what pass plus he's got dead ball which is always a very nice play style plus right there and i do think he's not terrible but i wouldn't place him at s it just doesn't seem right but yeah next one is gonna be a billy which i always like a billy bro in this game any version of her was insane uh she kind of reminded me of like a sour type of player but she was always the underrated one uh, not really on that sour level but i think if you add a shadow on her and you play in a four two three one uh, I think she's better suited, though, as a RCM, like, box-to-box -box type of player, like a Sanchez. Um, and you add an engine, bro. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. It's up to you, man. Maybe if you want to make uh, more of a defensive CM, it's up to you. But what I like is the two playstyle pluses that she has is probably the best in the game for two positions. That's attacking and defending. She has the technical as well as the anticipate. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Uh, Abili is really good, bro. I'm going to place her at the top of S. Sorry, the end of S+. plus. Very close to S, though. I feel like there is much better... Uh, midfielders out for the price um you know respectively speaking so i would place it though end of s plus very good speaking of end of s plus i would place Mateus a little bit better though um i just feel like he's more compact uh moves the ball really well and he's just more of a cdm more irritating like he has that wow fact of every time you play him he just gets the ball bro do you know what i mean whereas abili is good yes but i feel like Mateus is a little bit better so yeah, we will place him there. We got the likes of Cantona. Now, the only downfall with Cantona, I feel like he's not in the realm of insanely tall, right? 
um, and he's not in the realm of insanely short so he's in that awkward like type of thing for an attacker uh, is he going to be the aerial threat uh, type of striker or is he going to be the more number one so i feel like the technical definitely helps the card a lot but there's just so much better options i'd say stay far away man uh, but if you are using a uh, pass and present united team by all means bro you know crack on but i would say top of s though is very close to s plus i just feel like lukman is just so much more better value bro and he's five star five star um yeah and he, he will turn faster do you know what i mean uh and he's got actually low-key better stats as well do you know what i mean that's that's crazy stuff bro i mean the fact that you can get a, a lukman card for 150k as opposed to cantona which is 900k bro that is crazy stuff but now we got the likes of rendondo uh nothing crazy man you know these type of cards are just there for ea's sake for just adding them but i feel like she would be decent off the bench with a technical plus so i'd place it probably in the middle of a plus nothing crazy though um doesn't have the wow factor does that make sense uh if i'm placing cantina there i'm gonna place ham at s straight up bro ham is good don't get me wrong right but i feel like now i can really defend her bro she's not all that great sometimes she's irritating i feel like I'd, obviously team of the year icon one will be s plus uh but i feel like this one with a lack of playstyles and stuff you see the problem i'm having is she's literally a goal version of r9 and i did say r9 with the playstyle pluses with one playstyle plus he's still a good card in game with the animations so it's a very tough one would you probably say ham goes top of s because i would say r9 in my personal opinion just feels much better than ham in game and much more irritating to verse so for that reasoning i'd place ham on top of s she she'll keep that position but yeah next one 49 as a center back goes very good bro uh don't even look at his stats don't compare him to the new team of the seasons because ea just they excel their stats so much more but uh, than what it is trust me if you use 49 he has in-game hidden animations just amazing card bro very very nice he has anticipate plus very nice pace split uh very compact center back um never too tall never too short you know he is perfect for s plus let's move over to andrea pirlo though this is one that by the way i don't go in like stages right there I, i'll just move wherever i want bro so i will say pirlo though in my personal opinion is s plus if you want a fun cm like i've had so much fun with my shavi um right there in game he's just so so good i can only imagine how this card plays with a five star five star literally like a better shavi s plus for sure i know a lot of people like him because the way he moves with the ball uh he can act as a winger uh a cm a cam a lamb a ram uh do you know what i mean a cf a striker that's this versatility of this type of card um and he's got five star five star which i did say and high and high so in terms of work rates man that is a solid card i'm definitely placing him at the top of more really respectively speaking s plus top of s plus but yeah let's move on to the next one houghton she's a girl center back i did say she's good she's actually one of the better girl center backs in the whole game because essentially speaking she's not that short bro so she does have at least somewhat um of reach but what makes these center backs so good in terms of like reaction timing uh you know they have amazing um or decent enough agility and balance and they're not the tallest so the compensation of you know nimbleness is decent aerial and intercept plus is already very very nice you know aerial compensates for the lack of i'd say height so yeah essentially speaking intercept is nice i'd probably place her though at the top of a plus bro you could argue marcus actually deserves that spot so yeah i'll place it there nothing crazy we got lom a lot of people like lom and I, I don't care man what a lot of people like or don't like but i would say lom is not s plus i'm sorry very nice card though very very nice card in terms of the way he like the compactness you know what i mean the way he moves with the ball it's just very slick um and he's very good at intercepting as well feels like a kante in game uh prime kante i like to say but i will place him s do you know what i mean still a very nice right back though don't get me wrong still a very very nice right back um there is a better right back in game and he just feels so much better than Lom. trust me if you want to do a right back that will stay in your team i say probably after june july bro it's going to be the main man zambrata bro 100 percent going to be placed at s plus he's got the five star five star and the way he feels in game he has those in-game hidden animations that his stats don't say like he feels fast on the ball uh especially if you do a step over bro the way his frame feels um and his defending is insane he feels like cup devia of last year does that make sense shadow plus uh, on him man said shadow plus shadow on him though with the anticipate plus and doesn't uh get tired it's straight up s plus very very nice right back i place him at the end though i do think there is 
somewhat bit of value and bit of cards out there but if you were to do that right back is Zambrata is going to be an S plus player let's move over to the next one though it is going to be Essien now the thing with Essien there's just so much better out there um, yes Essien is decent when it comes to just the way he feels um, as a CDM you know he's not that um, what is it not that heavy to turn with which is always a huge dub when it comes to a ball winner you know you want someone that can turn you know like your Bellingham very tall very nice frame running style is amazing and shrugs players of the wall and still intercepts so he's that type of player uh, especially if you even did his evo is nice uh, if you add a shadow on him he becomes a 94 rated cdm the only downfall i have with this type of card is no wow factor for a cdm aspect like i'd rather use zyra emery uh you know those type of cdms because they have the five star skills uh they move the ball very nicely in terms of transitioning i'd say probably as uh top of s though unfortunately speaking i do think the likes of a abili and Mateus excels bro you know they've got the skills or the weak foot and they just feel amazing in game so yeah you could argue maybe sn deserves maybe s plus at the end of it i don't know maybe maybe a month ago i don't know bro it, remember this is my opinion as well but i am trying to be objective as possible also judging by how much games i play and stuff you know I, i'd say i'm an average 16 plus wins guy so I, I, i'd say i at least know what i'm speaking about somewhat does that make sense and i'm on this game a lot of times bro so yeah nakata hiditoshi nakata i like this aura of this card just his card design uh the way his hair slick back yeah i'm glazing bro you know what fair enough though five star weak foot i like this type of card in game you know if you have a nakata in your, in your game fair enough to you bro you're having fun right there with the game but i would say still decent with the five star skills i think it is right uh sorry weak foot uh, i do think he would perform decently enough judging by his stats but I wouldn't say nothing crazy though. I think most of this team of the seasons and like the new SPCs, they don't get under A+. They're still decent, you know what I mean? Raul, very, very nice uh, striker. Only downfall with Raul, uh, a lot of people's going to compare him now to R9, bro. Uh, you know, that's the thing. Uh, it's always comparisons with these type of players, man. Um, he's, I'd say he's better value, bro. 5 star, 5 star, what technical plus? And finish shot, 98 finishing, bro, with that amazing, amazing stamina. This card in-game, haven't really versed to use him because everyone uses the same players. Um, average and lean, you know, I'll be honest, it's 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 not giving S+, plus. unfortunately speaking, man. Uh, I do think he might be better than Ham, though, so I'll give him the top of S. Please do not be angry in the comments. S and S+, plus is very close. You know, it just they just don't have the wow factor to be the S+, plus, bro. Ah, you know, people are going to really slate me in the comments. I think maybe R9 deserves to go a little bit down then, uh, if that's the case, because he's very close to uh, top of S. But I feel like R9 is R9. It doesn't really matter. It's like Mbappe in the game. Does that make sense? So, yeah. We will place Raul, though, there. We got Ronaldinho now. Amazing, amazing winger. I just feel like he's not S+, plus, man, this year. And you guys already know me. If you've been watching the channel for long, you know that I love Ronaldinho. He's my favorite player in the whole, like, in the whole of football. As well as in FIFA, he's just always been amazing right there. You know, Trickster Plus being your only playstyle plus is a little bit of a downfall. As well as lack of stam. There's no point to be placing him at S+. Plus, do you know what I mean? But he's still very, very nice in game. Very, very fun and skillful. You see, this is perfect. I think this really makes sense what I'm saying here. Now, Raul and Stoichkov. These are two juggernauts when it comes to special icons. Let's compare the two. I like giving comparisons. So both of them have five star, five star, right? One is much, much more sig significantly cheaper, but, th and they both the controlled explosive, very similar cards, I might add. Storage has, has better physicality. Storage Cove has better pace shooting. Storage Cove has better passing and better dribbling. That just makes complete sense to place Storage Cove at S+. Because he ticks all the boxes when it comes to just a very OP striker. And he has technical plus with the first touch. You know, he has very nice, better raw stats than Raul. And that's the reason why I place him at the top of S+. Because there's a better card, do you know what I mean, than Raul especially in the SPC list. So if you want to maybe spend an extra one more, I'd say you are getting a better card, but that is a very good value card though. I'd still say Raul is very good value because um, he's literally like more than half the price and he has very similar stats and still a five star, five star. 
Um, and then Raul, if I'm not mistaken, does have the technical as well, right? Yeah, very, very similar cards, I won't lie. But yeah, Zanetti, I don't know, man. These type of cards for me just don't do it. Uh, especially Zanetti being more of a midfielder. I remember having his midfielder card last year, bro. That card was cooking. But I would say the five stars, maybe skilled is better. You know, if you want to transition, try to get out of those tight corners, he'd be decent. Um, I haven't really versed or used him enough to say maybe top of A+. plus. Mm, you could argue end of S. The only downfall with the Zanetti is I just feel like he's very weak in game, bro, when it comes to just shrugging plays of the ball or have that wow factor. But I would still say he has all the stats to back himself being a decent enough right back. So end of S, I think suffices. What do you boys think? Leave in the comments. Kapu though. How do you say this guy's name? I've seen people pronounce this guy. They've butchered his name. They've said Kapue. Kapu, I don't know, bro. Four star, four star, anticipate and intercept plus. In my opinion, when it, there's not really that much CDMs, like, you know, there's a few, bro, like him, Sissoko, uh, that were SPCs, but I do think he's very good when it comes to interception of the ball. So add a shadow on him, and he's going to be good. And I would say end of S for sure. Very, very nice uh, CDM. Uh, I would say has better stats and better pace, just better meta attributes than Marquez, and that's the reason why. It actually does highlight the fact that maybe Marquez deserves to go up. Because Marquez is still good, bro. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I think Marquez deserves to go into the S spot at the end of it. He's still a very nice card, bro, if I'm placing Kapu there. So yeah, we got Huerta. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Sounds like a, It sounds like the right pronunciation, you know. I don't know, boys. I'm African. I don't know if these pronunciations are right. But she more or less is a United States player. So yeah, interesting surname, to be fair. Very nice play split. Very nice right back. I just think... There's just so much better out there. So for that reasoning, I'm going to place a top of A+. Plus. She's kind of like in that Houghton role. It's just so much better out there. Do you know what I mean? Kunde. A lot of people is, might be angry at this one. But I'm going to be straight up honest with you, boys. I don't struggle against Kunde. I don't know what it is. Sometimes, like, he used to be very good in this game. Um, like, top of S+, plus for sure. Uh, like, his running style, animations, etc., etc. Um, 5 foot 11 as well. He's not in that realm of perfect tight for center back, though. I'm going to place him at the top of S. He's a very, very nice uh, center back. I do think someone like the likes of Ferdinand, in my personal opinion, I struggle a little bit more. Very similar cards, though. Ferdinand is a bit of frame, though. Uh, he's got the Anticipate Plus. Kunde does not have the uh, Anticipate Plus, though. Maybe, though, he does deserve maybe at the end of S+. Plus. I know a lot of people like that Kunde. You know what? I'll do it, bro. Especially at this stage of the game. A lot of pros are running Kunde, so I, I back it. But I would say Ferdinand, for me, just feels better. Um, and, well, feels worse because I'm versing him. Do you know what I mean? To verse, it's just very not, not nice. But another good one right there is Lucio. A lot of people think this Lucio... Um, they actually, don't. not a lot of people are doing this card. I have no idea why. He's literally got an Anticipate Plus with 6'2 height. And amazing reactions with 84 agility. What are we doing? If I were to compare which ones to do, I'd say Lucio is better than Ferdinand and Kunde combined, bro. In terms of value, in terms of meta, do you know what I mean? Like, that Lucio is really, really good. I don't know why not a lot of people are doing him. And he has totally normal body type, bro. Very nice raw defending stats as well. But yeah, let's move over, though, to the next one. It's going to be Mickey Tyron. I think this card just um, objectively goes S. Uh, he's got the 5 star, 5 star to back all or what he needs to do, do you know what I mean? But it doesn't have the wow factor to be S+, plus, so that makes complete sense. Uh, I'll place him in the middle right there. We got the likes of Rodman. I like Rodman, bro. I love Rodman, man. Like, Trinity Rodman is just a beast in this game. Like, the way she runs past everyone, and you cannot catch up to her. I don't know what it is. So she has very, very nice raw pace, bro, and amazing dribbling stats. Uh, but I wouldn't place her at S+, plus, um, unfortunately. The, the name of the game, unless... Unless I place at the end of S+, plus, because if you were to use Trinity Rodman, bro, you're going to cook. Nonetheless, if she maybe had a technical plus, I don't know, bro. Quick step, finesse shot. Um, there's a lot of cards like that, man. And that's just why I'm a bit indecisive. Do you know what I mean? I'll place it at the top of S, though. Yeah, I'll place it at the top of S. Um, it's very tough, bro. It is very tough. I'll Yeah, I'll leave them there. Uh, we got the likes of Goodmanson, which was a new one that came out. How do you... Oh, it's so difficult to pronounce this guy's name. Um, damn. I can't even, like, look at his card. Let's just see. I think I have to go to SPCs, though. 
uh, unless he's in the IECSE yeah, he right here. Four star, four star, it's okay. Nothing crazy. 35k though for that stat is really good, man. And I know a lot of people said he's a cheap beast. Uh, I place him at the end of S. Uh, he does his job. Do you know what I mean? Just doesn't have that wow factor though to be up of like upper echelon of like S or S+. Uh, Zegrova as well has the skill moves, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Decent enough card. Uh, five star skills, as you say, as I said, first touch, quick step as well. A lot of these type of cards, I place him at the end of S. Um, will do his job. I mean, end of S is still S. You know what I mean? Game is the game. We got Kubo. Nothing crazy though. Uh, thing with Kubo, I feel like sometimes you just he goes missing in games. I don't know what it is. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he has very nice stats though to at least propel himself to S. At the end of S. Uh, Korea is nice. I love Korea, bro. Would you place Korea at the top of S plus though? <laughs> That's the interesting question. Because in my opinion, he's very similar to Lukman, but he doesn't have the five star weak foot like Lukman. Uh, and he doesn't have the technical plus. So you could argue that Lukman is definitely the better card. Um, I will still place Korea the way he feels in game though. At the end of S plus. Ooh, this does actually highlight the fact that maybe, just maybe, there's a few cards that can go up right there. Now nah, wait, 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 wait. Because Raul and Korea are very similar in terms of stats and stuff, right? I'm a place, yeah. I think Lukman for me is the better card. I'm a pl I think for now that works. That works right there. I might seem indecisive, but I think it does work. Let's go to Onya Bati right there, which as a right back goes, we already know what where this is going. She might be one of the better right backs in the whole game. Better than Carvajal, better than Vasquez. I don't care what anyone says, bro. 589,000 coins is definitely worth it. Uh, you add her in your team and you're going to see how insane she is. 100% S+. We got the next one being Yaya Torre. Now, in terms of a midfielder goes, I do think that he's better. Uh, Yaya Torre has just always been a very physical monster in game, though. Um, press proven bruiser plus, you know, they, they can be better stats than him. Uh, I do feel like they can be even a better card, um, like version of him. But nah, I still say it suffices. I love the card design though. I place him the top of S for sure. Still very good, boys. Don't get me wrong. Still very, very good. But yeah, we got the very last one, Renato Sanchez. And this is just not even recency bias, but the way this type of card plays in game, oh my days. And I've say, said it in the past video, bro. I felt like he, he feels like FIFA 17 Sanchez. Very good in game. Very, um, what's the word? Noticeable. So I will place him indeed at the uh, end of S+. Uh, I do think the lack of skill moves and weak foot does make him close to S, but still very good, bro. Trust me, the way he feels in game, he has this presence that cannot be replicated. It is like a insane, just irritating like fly at you, bro, the whole time intercepting the ball, going up with the ball. But yeah, that is my tier list of the new SPCs. Tell me if you agree with this tier list. It's my opinion, by the way. Please don't slate me in the comments. I've just tried to be objective as unbiased as possible. But yeah, that's the video, man. Hit the like, subscribe. I will catch you boys in the next one, man. Peace.